Hey everyone, and happy Fat Tuesday. Today's Spirit Day is the Red Day to support the blood drive going on in East Gym. Today we'll be discussing the Winter Olympics, Royal Spring Training, and the NBA trades. We'll first start off with the Olympics as it's happening in Pyeongchang, South Korea as we speak. The U.S. has now won three gold medals so far in this Olympics. All of them have come in the snowboarding category. Red Gerard got first place in the men's slope style, and he is only 17 years old. Can you believe that? That's incredible. 17? 17. That is I'm pretty 17. insane. I mean, on top of that, Chloe Kim won the women's half pipe last night at age 17 as well. And what, is she an American? She is, she is? Okay. American, okay. Korean, and she's also part French as well. Okay. French. And finally, Jamie Anderson won women's slope style as well. So far, they're currently in fifth place, and they're doing a really good job so far. You know, I'm 17. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, it just it's kind of amazing to think how I'm 18, and there's 17-year-olds accomplishing more than I'll ever accomplish in my life. Hey, we're, we're, you don't know also, that. Keep well, that is true. We don't know that. Positive attitude, and then... We can also... We, we're also here to, you know, I mean, they're pretty amazing athletes. They're, it's pretty good, yeah. They focus on that for a good two, three years, and then right after this Olympics, they're going to get right back after it again. That's right. All right, so now let's go into baseball. And the Royals have a big decision to make. Do they bring back Eric Hosmer and third baseman Mike, Mike Moustakis, or do they let those guys walk away and start their rebuild process? I think you honestly just you throw it on the table and just let them decide. And it's in their power <coughs> right now, and that's what Hosmer and Moustakis are both doing. They're waiting to see whether or not their market is going to go somewhere else or they're going to stay here. See, and I and I I kind of agree with you there. Well, no, I do agree with you. I think if I'm the Royals, I've given them team-friendly deals for us, uh, something that's going to help us. Also, it's going to be able to give us the flexibility to continue what we're trying to do and add for later on in the future. And if I'm Dayton Moore and the Royals, I'm telling Mike Moustakis and Hosmer I need an answer soon because I have no problem going into a full rebuild. Uh, truthfully, on my own opinion, I don't think those guys are worth the money. I think Hosmer is Ouch. a I think Hosmer is a good Kansas City player, but I don't think he's an All Star and I don't think he's a franchise player. I think he's a Kansas City franchise player, but he's not George Brett. He'll never be George Brett. So to pay Eric Hosmer George Brett type money if George Brett was around right now, I think is nonsense. And Mike Moustakis, he's just he's a liability out there at third with already a torn ACL. Uh, he has problem driving the ball sometimes to the opposite field. He's a pull hitter. I wouldn't pay him the money either. They're younger guys who can get the job done for the Royals at a very cheaper rate. And I think if they want to sell tickets, they get Hosmer and Moustakis. But if they want to build their franchise back up, I say they get rid of them. Yeah, I definitely agree, too. And I'm hearing reports, too, that uh, Scott Boris is heavily talking, who's yeah. Moustakis and Hosmer's agent, that they're talking with the Padres a lot. So it's not Padre. a good not a good sign. But, you know, you don't know. You don't know for sure. And if, and if I'm Hosmer and Moustakis, no one's broken down the door to talk to you. No one's blown you away with an offer, so you're not worth as much as you think you are. So there's no need to try to continue to get that best offer. If they want to play in Kansas City, they would have, they they would already be playing with Kansas City. They'd be signed. And Mike Moustakis made it a priority to let the Royals know that was not that was not his fir his first choice mm -hmm. when he decided to test his free agent market, and that's why they haven't offered him a contract yet. And the Royal Spring Training. Just the pitchers and catchers just reported today, and the position players will report on February 18th. And their first game of spring training will be on February 24th against the runner-up Los Angeles Dodgers. So now we'll move to NBA with the recent trades with the Cavaliers and the Los Angeles Lakers. August, take us through it. All right, so the Cavaliers <coughs> traded away almost their whole team, only keeping a few of the, you know... A few of the cornerstones pieces. They kept LeBron, players, yeah. J.R. Smith, Love because they had to. They and got, Tristan Thompson, which is, I don't even know why he's on the team. Oh, completely I mean, wasted $78 million. Probably because he's got the same agent as LeBron, and keeping them on the same team probably makes it easier on the agent. But anyway, they traded away the midget Isaiah Thomas. They traded away... Uh, they trade away Channing Fry. Channing Fry, away. he's too old for the Cavs. Jay, Jay Crowder, they another Celtic Jay player. Crowder. They trade away both Celtic players that they got from the Kyrie Irving trade. They also traded away Iman Shumpert. His, his liability was uh, he can't play any more defense on the Cavs, and they need more defending players. They gained Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance Jr. from the, Lake, from the Lakers, and Larry Nance Jr. is solid enough, and Jordan Clarkson would shoot. So. Yeah, and I, I, I think 
Obviously, the Lakers won that trade because they cleared up 60-plus million in cap space. Uh Um, They get the chance to go after LeBron, uh, Paul George, or in the following year, Kawhi Leonard. Those guys are bigger and better to me than Larry Nance and Jordan Clarkson will ever amount to. So why not spend your money there? Okay, but, like, Paul George isn't going to the Cavs or the Lakers. So Well, if Paul George is smart, he'll leave the Thunder because the Thunder will never amount to nothing either. Thunder are having a great season, though. A great season is not a great... A, a, it's better than last season. They're having a good season right now. It's not a great season unless you win the title. I mean, every, LeBron's every happy with how... Every other team they don't win the title. But LeBron's happy with how the team's playing now. LeBron so. is happy because they JR's played one game. And JR's out from back from the shadows, and now he's scoring more points. Well, the, it's still going to be the Cavs and the Warriors in the finals this year. The Cavs also got Rodney Hood. They got Jordan Clarkson. They also got, uh, gained Grant Hill, an amazing point guard from the Kings. The Kings lost Grant Hill, but they gained a few players. So they got two guys who have played in the playoffs before and two nobodies who really no one knows besides L.A. Mm, but they'll probably get more chances to play in the playoffs if they stay on the Cavs, which LeBron no, is LeBron's going to do. Because, no, LeBron's, LeBron's definitely leaving. staying. LeBron has stated that he wants First to stay. First of all, Dan Gilbert does not like LeBron whatsoever. He even said the only thing I won from LeBron was a title. He got that title, now he's gone. But LeBron's definitely going to stay, and Paul George isn't going to go to the Lakers. Why would LeBron? I mean, why would LeBron or Paul George go to the Lakers? Why would they stay? Why would they stay? Because they have great teams. Oklahoma, Paul George has Oklahoma City w- Russell is Westbrook very garbage. It is a garbage city. I'll, I'll have to, to agree LA, with you on that one. Compared to LA, LA it's and not. Cleveland's it's worse not the than, best. Oh, than Oklahoma City. Okay, but Paul George has Russell Westbrook and Carmelo Anthony coming. I am done as a great with start. You. That is it. That's going to wrap it up for us today. Make sure you find a friend and to match them for a dynamic duo day tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Turn back tomorrow.